Drip Drop by Sarah Weeks. Pipsqueak lay in his bed. Something wet fell on his head. Drip, drop, flip, plop. Oh no, cried Pipsqueak, I've got a leak. He climbed up and got a cup. This cup will do the trick, he said. Off he went, back to bed. His eyes had just begun to close. Then something wet fell on his toes. Drip, drop, plip, plop. Oh no, cried Pipsqueak, I've got a new leak. Away he ran to get a pan. This pan will do the trick, he said. Off he went back to bed. He closed his eyes and snuggled in. Then something wet fell on his chin. Drip, drop, clip, plop. Oh no, cried Pipsqueak, I've got another leak. He went and got a great big pot. This pot will do the trick, he said. Off he went, back to bed. Thunder boomed, lightning flashed, a new leak splished, another splashed. Drip, drop, plip, plop. Down came the rain. It would not stop. It filled the pot. It filled the pan. It filled the cup. It filled the can. It filled the pail. And after that, it filled the glass. It filled the hat. It filled the tub. It filled the shoe. Pipsqueak did not know what to do. There was nothing left to catch the drips or drops, or plips or plops. I give up, said Pipsqueak. Just go ahead and leak. He hung his head and closed his eyes. Then Pipsqueak had a big surprise. The sun came out. The rain had stopped. No drops dripped. No plips plopped. Come jump in the puddles, his friends all said. But Pipsqueak ran and jumped in bed.